When we use either the duct or the pipe types within Revit, the appearance of the duct or the pipe is a function of the types that we use. Here, for example, I'm placing down some ductwork with this type, where it's defined to use a radius bend and then come off in a shoe, or this type, where it's defined to use a square bend and come off in a T. So practically, the difference between them are the fittings that are used in each type. So here's one type, and now let's go in and use the second type. And you'll see that we get different fittings based upon the type. So what is it in detail that's actually controlling which fit, fitting gets used at any given situation? So if I select this type, here I can come to the edit type properties and I'm presented with a routing preference. It's the routing preference that defines the fitting that gets used. So for example, when I've come round this corner and we require to have a bend, it's this bend, this corner that's used. So it's this elbow that's used, a rectangular medium radius bend flange standard. And if I wished to use a different type of elbow, I could use this drop down and then specify a different type. And if indeed the type of elbow that I required wasn't available to me in this list, I could go away and I could load an elbow. And that's what I'll do here. So let's take a look. We're looking for duct, duct fittings, which are rectangular. And specifically, it was a bend that I was interested in. So now you see we get a lot more choice. So in this case, I could use, for example, a long radius bend. Let's load that into the routing preference. And now it's available to me here on this list. Let's apply that. So now when I use this type once again, this time you'll see it's using a different type of fitting. So it's the routing preference within a duct or pipe type that defines the actual detail of the fitting that is placed.